Um, I want to welcome you to the Foremost Cafe. I am Chris Fry. I'm a Los Angeles Conservancy docent. And the open house here today is to promote voting for uh, the Formosa for the $150,000 grant, which I hope you all have done at check-in, and if not, I hope you'll do it after. Um, but picture this in 1925, when Jimmy Bernstein, who was a former New York prize fighter, bought a Pacific Electric red car and moved it to this site and opened a luncheonette site. Uh, the red car, this was 1925 when he bought it. The red car actually was from vintage 1902 to 1906. So it had done, probably served its life already. Uh, and he turned it into the luncheonette. Now, this is a current photo uh, from Formosa Avenue. Uh, as you can tell by the modern apartment that's behind it. But it has not substantially changed from 1925. However, the rest of the Formosa has. And it changed over time uh, due to a lot of events that happened. Um, Bernstein, because he was from the prize fighting world, attracted a lot of prize fighter buddies. Jack Dempsey, uh, Joe Lewis were regulars here. Um, and what goes hand in hand with prize fighting and boxing quite often, uh, organized crime. Mickey Cohen uh, was a regular here to the extent that he had a de facto office at the back end of the dining car. He also actually had a floor safe installed in another part of the, the uh, restaurant, uh, not in the dining car, or not in the Pacific Red Card part, but a different part. That'll be pointed out to you as you go through also. Uh, I should mention we have docents inside who will be telling you other things about it and leading you through. So I will be handing you off to them after you go in. Um, so Cohen collected other mobsters, Johnny Stappanato, uh, Bugsy Siegel was another regular. Um, and by 1945, he had to, the, to the red car, he had added a bar, an addition, a kitchen, and another dining room. Uh, in 1945, uh, he redesigned it into a Cantonese theme and called it the Formosa Cafe. It was originally called the Red Post Cafe uh, in 1925, up until that time. And you can see that barely in a little photo I have here of the sign. Oh, wow. Unfortunately, this is the only important part of this photo, <laughs> is the sign. Uh, this is the studio across the street, and I will talk a little bit about that also because this was a great hangout for people at that studio. Um, also in 1945, he hired a Chinese cook from Hong Kong called Lem Kwan. Uh, Lem eventually became a partner with Bernstein, and when Bernstein died in 1976, uh, Kwan took over as sole proprietor of it, and it stayed in Kwan's family until they sold it around 2011. Uh, uh, Kwan's grandson, Vince Young, was the last person who ran it as, as the Wild family owned it. Uh, when it uh, changed ownership, there was some remodeling done to the area. Uh, some of the stuff is unfortunate in, in a historic sense. Uh, part of this grant that we're going for, we're going for a $150,000 grant, it will be used exclusively for the section of the restaurant that is the red car, uh, because that's what we see as being the, pride, the historic project. Uh, and it will take out some of the uh, unfortunate remodels uh, that were done since as part of that. Uh, but the 1903 group that uh, spoke earlier intends to refurbish the whole, uh, the whole uh, restaurant. And they hope to have it open in 2018. Um, the uh, the uh, studio across the way um, was opened in 1919, that's six years before uh, the Red Card Luncheonette came here, the Red Post Cafe came here. Um, 1922, it became the Pickford, the, uh, Pickford Fairbanks Studio, uh, Mary Pickford, Douglas Fairbanks. And of course, they started their own company, United Artists, in 1925, so it changed names again in 1925, which is when the Luncheonette opened in 1925. Uh, in 1940, it became Samuel Goldwyn Studio. Uh, in 1980, it became the Warner Hollywood Studio. And in 1999, it became what is currently called, which is the Lot. Uh, there'll be some anecdotes about many of the famous people who were at that studio who often lunched or dined here. So I think they are probably about ready for the inside. So this is the safe area that he was mentioning? Well, I go to my 
right foot is the, is the plus safe. Right. And the plus safe could talk all the money has been in over, over the second decade. <laughs> Yeah. Come on in, everybody. Come on down so you can hear me. Welcome. Welcome to the inside of the Formosa Cafe. So originally the walls here were lined with over 250 black and white photographs of the stars who dined here in the past. A virtual who's who of Hollywood autographed and hand delivered by the celebrities themselves. And you can see some examples uh, on the tables here. The 1933 group plans to return these pictures as part of their upcoming rehabilitation as they intend to restore the Formosa Cafe to its original look and feel. And this is a, you can kind of get an idea of what it looked like with the pictures all around on the, uh, the top parts of the wall. Notable lore. Okay, Frank Sinatra ate his chicken chow mein here the day after he won an Oscar for From Here to Eternity in 1953. Howard Hughes once had to borrow $20 from the owner to pay a debt to a drinking buddy. He did pay it back the next day. And Clark Gable was allegedly a very lousy tipper. So it's just some interesting information for you. In 1991, Werner Hollywood Studio, which is right across the street, unveiled a redevelopment plan that proposed the demolition of the Formosa Cafe, slated to be replaced by a parking lot. Concerned citizens and preservationists form friends of the Formosa in the opposition. Here's a newspaper <coughs> article about that. Under pressure, Warner changed their development plan to keep the Formosa standing, though initially it was to be moved. In 2002-2003, it came under new ownership as part of the land swap and the development of the Target Shopping Center, which is right next door. Now, for many film noir followers, the Formosa Cafe is best known for its supporting role in the movie L.A. Confidential, released in 1997. This year, the Conservancy featured L.A. Confidential as part of our last remaining Seats film series to recognize the 20th anniversary of the film. The late Curtis Hansen film is adapted from the 1990 book by the same name by author James Elroy. Hansen once lived nearby and was fond of the cafe's neon look and the crimson interior as well as its history. So, the cafe is recognizable as the dark restaurant where Detective Ed Exley mistakes the real Lana Turner, accompanied by her gangster boyfriend Johnny Stumpanato, for a hooker cut to look like the famous actress. And the scene was shot right here <laughs> at that table. In fact, Turner and Stompanato were regulars at the Formosa back in the 1950s. Before Turner's daughter infamously stabbed and killed Stompanato in self-defense. So they say. So they say. Okay, so now we're going to the other part, which is the, the Pacific Electric Red Trolley car. This is where area mobsters Mickey Cohen and Bugsy Siegel were regulars, with Cohen using a secret back room on the trolley as a thriving bookmaking operation. Of course. Okay, so watch your step right here, and watch your head. We'll be going into the trolley part of the cafe. Again, more photographs. And I believe these are some of the ones that will be put back. They want to put back the originals on the wall if they can. But the collection was lost. Is that, I mean, the pictures, uh, I, the pictures I, intact? 
Uh, these are some of the pictures, so I think it's a matter of uh, getting permission to, to reuse them. And so, now this is the fake wall right here. Okay, so now you're coming back into the bookmaking operation area of the trolley. And also you can see over here all the different wallpapers that they used at various times. And so they kind of chose this one. And so what they've done is they've kind of repeated that one. It's, it's pretty close. There were some people who had pictures up here who weren't real stars. And they either destroyed those or gave them back to those people if they could. Because I oh, know okay, somebody who's got, oh, okay. who's got his picture back. Okay. Thank you, everyone. Here's the exit. Watch your step. Watch your head. At the Formosa. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.